Number four. <laughs> Man, I, I I I don't know why I, I, I keep talking about this, but this shit this shit just is just funny to me. So, number four, the fourth way you're sabotaging your success with women, and you're gonna hear me talk about this. I'm blowing the fucking face because I don't think dudes get this. Is waiting around for fucking choosing signals. Waiting around for choosing signals. Let me go more into this so dudes really understand. For dudes to really understand the shit, right? One, choosing signals, right? Are not happening enough to, for you to rely on that. You understand? Waiting for choosing signals is like, is like saying, that's like being a man with three kids and a wife and saying, you know what? I'm just going to wait on like some freelance jobs to hit me up whenever. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to just wait for like a part-time job to holler at me. You know, I'm just waiting by the phone. I sent out a few resumes. Maybe I don't know. You understand? I'm just kind of chilling. You understand? It's not enough. So what I mean is, and this is what I try to get the guys to understand. Women are extremely fickle and flaky and their minds change like the wind. You understand? So let's say you had one chick a week choosing up on you, right? And let's say that's four girls a month. Let's say you got all four of those girls' numbers, right? Let's say you got all four of those girls' numbers. Now, let's say all four of those girls, you got their number, you hit them up, and you try to set something up so y'all can hang out. Now, this is what could happen. Two of those girls aren't responding to your texts or calls. The other two, you know, you got in contact with, you planned to date with them, or you planned a time to set to, to see them, and both of those women flaked on the date. Right? So the whole month you got four choosing signals, you approached those four girls, got the information, but nothing happened. And now this is this is the type of shit that'll go down. A lot. This is what guys don't understand. Meaning that women are so fickle and flaky, especially at the beginning of the situations. So when you first talk to her, everything seemed cool. You thought she was feeling you, all this other stuff. Then, you know, shit happens. That one girl you tried to holler at, uh, the first girl that chose you, you know, her boyfriend came back in a situation. So now she, you know, she ain't really returning your calls. Uh, the second girl, she, you know, she just felt different. So she ain't hit you back up. The other two girls you were supposed to go on a date with, um, you know, one of them met another guy that she liked more who wanted to go and see her the same day that you were supposed to see her. And then the other girl you were supposed to see, she woke up and she didn't feel good because she didn't like the way her hair looked and all this other shit. So now she ain't seeing you. So you wasted a whole month trying to, uh, you know, get with these four girls who chose you and shit ain't pop off. You understand? Now, again, I'm not saying that choosing signals isn't good. If a chick is choosing you, yes, definitely go up, approach, interact with her. But I'm saying that it's not reliable. It's not a reliable way to, uh, you know, make shit happen in the game. You understand what I'm saying? It's not reliable. Because it lowers your success rate. You understand? Because women are all over the fucking place. Wait, how come you guys don't get this? Women are all over the fucking place. This is why you have to play the numbers game. This is why you can't just wait on choosing signals because women aren't going to be choosing you at a fast enough rate for you to deal with them like that. Do you understand? 
there's only a super small, small, small percentage of guys who are getting choosing signals thrown at them on a consistent basis. Like I was saying, uh, I, just, I said this on another video. If a chick is not, if women are not choosing you on a consistent basis, meaning if let's say 20 to 25 women are not throwing you choosing signals every day, you can't just wait for that shit. And most guys are not making, it's not happening for you like that. It's not happening. Most of y'all, it's not happening. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm trying to tell you guys it's not happening. You understand? And so, and, and, and look, this is what I, what I want you guys to understand. You're sabotaging your success because you're waiting for this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning I hear guys say, I'm not going to approach a girl or talk to a girl unless she's giving me signals. Right? But you still don't know why she's choosing you. Is she choosing you because she want to fuck you or is she choosing you because she want to use you? You understand what I'm saying? You don't know. Then on top of that, approach the girl. Right? You still don't know if she's into you. Meaning she has to choose you twice. Because you approach her now, you got to talk to her. You understand? Does she like the sound of your voice? Does she feel the vibe when she's with you? No? Well, guess what? Ain't shit happening with that girl. Even though she was checking you out from across the room. Even though she was putting uh, herself in your orbit. But as soon as y'all started talking, she's not feeling you. You understand? This is what guys don't get. Again, I'm not trying to shit on choosing signals. Choosing signals are great. Choosing signals are awesome. When it happens, it's like, cool, this chick is choosing me. Cool, let me go and approach. But what you should be doing is you shouldn't just be using that as your sole, uh, 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 you know, thing when it comes to dealing with women because you're sabotaging yourself. And listen, all you fucking guys on the internet that try to act like, oh, well, I get chosen every day. And, you know, I get a million chicks hollering at me every day. You're fucking lying. You know why? Because if that was happening, you wouldn't be watching these fucking videos. Stop the bullshit. Stop the bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Stop the bullshit. You understand? You want you want to live a fantasy life on the internet. I get it. But that ain't going to help you in real life. You understand? Like, I coach motherfuckers. You understand? In person. Listen, I used to model back in the day. I used to be around a bunch of rich, high class, high status niggas all day at these clubs, at these events, at these networking parties, right? And the guys that you would even consider like the top notch dudes, right? Still was not getting that many choosing signals. You understand what I'm saying? And even when they were, they started to go and approach, they started to go and interact with the chick, and sometimes they got the chick, sometimes they didn't, but they still had to put in the work. So what I'm saying is, there's no escape. There's no escaping the fucking work, guys. I'm sorry. There's no escaping the fucking work. And unless you're the type of guy that's getting chosen by 20, 25 girls a day, which most of you are not, you should not be waiting on that shit because it's sabotaging your motherfucking game. Dudes are just scared. They want to live in the safety of, the, of this little fantasy bubble. You understand what I'm saying? So that they can, you know, feel like, oh, you know, well, you know, I, I don't, because dudes can't take a chick, um, you know, telling them no, or they're scared that they're going to deal with a woman who's going to be mean and nasty and rude to them or some shit. You understand what I'm saying? Dudes are scared of that shit. Dudes are scared to 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 feel. Uh, they're like, oh well, I don't want to gas her head up. You know, I don't want to go in, uh, in cold approach because you know I don't want to look like a sucker out here, right? How are you giving women this much power? You understand? How are you doing this? How how is a chick not wanting to talk to you that big of a deal? You understand? But. See, listen, I'm going to tell you from a guy who, because look, I get choosing signals every day, right? I get them every day. 
if I'm outside, let's say, because I live in New York, let's say if I'm outside, I'm going to train, I'm on a bus, I'm walking around or whatever, right? I say on a good day, I'd probably get like, and I'm talking about like, when I say choose, I'm talking about like strong chooses. I'm not talking about a chick just looking at you for three seconds. I'm talking about it's obvious that this chick is like, yes, this, this yo, like what's good? You understand? I'm talking about when it's obvious, like she's it's just undeniably fucking obvious that the chick wants to fuck with you, right? I say on a good day, I probably get maybe three to five like super obvious like this is the chick that that's really trying to you know check a nigga out just three to five that's not enough that is not enough the fact that women are so fucking flaky women are so indecisive and especially when it's the beginning of a situation because i've talked about this before when it's the beginning of a situation a woman don't really give a fuck like that in most situ in most cases. Meaning that because you're not emotionally relevant to her yet, right? That means that it's easy for her to just be like, fuck it, and not really fuck with you. So yeah, the girl could think you're cute, she could think you're you know interesting and all this other stuff, right? She's choosing you, she's you know giving you that you know, that 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 energy or whatever. You go up, you approach her, you start talking, y'all chopping it up, right? She, she, she's, she's, you know, showing that interest, right? You exchange information and all this other stuff, right? You hit her up, and she hits you back up. She responds to your text. Yeah, try to set something up. When y'all supposed to meet, something had came up. She's feeling a certain type of way. Her ex-boyfriend came through. The other guy she's been fucking with, you know, is hitting her back up, all this other extra shit. Now, all that other stuff in her life is more relevant than you. So then she's like, well, whatever. I'll just, you know, I'll just flake. I don't really feel like going. I'm not in the mood. So she texts you and says, hey, I can't make it. Or she might not even text you. You might... Hit her up to confirm she ain't even responding to your text. But she chose you, right? You see what I'm saying? Chicks do this all the fucking time. Choosing signals are not, I repeat, are not a guarantee that that woman is interested. You understand? It's not a guarantee. Dudes have to really understand this. Again, I'm going to say it again. Nothing wrong with choosing signals. Nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Take advantage of it when it occurs, when it happens, when you're in a situation where it could go down. But if that's your only way to meet women, you're fucking up. You understand what I'm saying? You guys are fucking up. I'm telling you, you're fucking up. You understand? See, if you're not one of these dudes, okay, like for example, it's almost the same as if, let's say, it's like, let's say a person said, a guy said, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just um, holler at chicks on online dating, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Right? Now, the only guy that can, the only types of guys that can do that, right, and be successful with that strategy are, let's say, for example, with Tinder or something like that. If you're the type of guy who's getting, you know, 20 matches a day, then I'm like, all right, cool, definitely do that. Fuck it. You, you know what I'm saying? You're getting the chicks, they match with you, they meeting up with you, cool. Right? You can afford to do that because you have those that many chicks on the in this situation fucking with you like that. You understand what I'm saying? But if you're the type of guy who's getting one match a week or you know, one match every few weeks. You can't be like, well, I'm gonna, you know, just do the online thing and I don't that talking to you. No, you you can't do it. You see what I'm saying? You can't do that shit. You see what I mean? So, you know, guys have to be more self-aware with this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Again, 
If you out here getting chosen 20, 25 times a day, nigga, knock yourself out. I'm saying that most of y'all are not. Most of y'all are not. So if you're if you're trying to pretend or act like you are, all you're doing is just jerking yourself off. You understand? You're just basically, uh, 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 you know, doing this to make yourself feel good, make yourself have this fantasy. Well, you know what? Yeah, I don't fuck this approach and shit. I'm gonna just wait for the choosing signals. This is awesome. I don't ever have to get rejected again. I can just wait for a girl to choose me. And you still having problems with women. I wonder why. I wonder why. You understand what I'm saying? I wonder why. But you know, that's that's what I want to say, man. Number four is, you know, you're sabotaging your success because you're waiting for these fucking Judas signals. Now, the last thing I have on this list as to why you're sabotaging your success with women. The last thing I have on this list. And this thing right here is, you know, something very important that, you know, guys just keep doing and don't realize this is actually fucking up their situation. You understand? So the last thing I have on this list when it comes to why you're sabotaging your success with women is when you... Th-